Hello, Norseman. I'm Rafi. And I'm Nolan. Welcome to this week's Norseman News Flash. Um, so what was the initial reason that it was created? Well, uh, the Makerspace movement has been uh, getting traction in public libraries. This year, we've devoted a lot of the money to um, Makerspace activities. Um, and um, one of the things that students do is they use the pick apart table. I just find uh, old electronics mostly uh, and allow students to take them apart all the way to the bare bones. Um, and oddly, it's very, very popular. Uh, once students start, they have a really hard time stopping themselves because tinkering, and that's what they're doing is tinkering. It's really good for um, like creativity um, and exploring uh, and discovering um, the answers to questions that students develop on their own. Another one of the tables is called Art a la Carte, and we use one of the old library carts, and they're filled with um, art supply, bracelet making, jewelry making, mod podging, um, and we'd like it to expand. So if you have ideas, uh, let us know. Um, it's a movement of, of, we've kind of moved away from making things by hand, mm -hmm. and so um, nowadays um, people are really interested in learning how to make things by themselves, but also um, in an effort to allow students the freedom and creativity to, to play and to make. So we also have a lot of games available. So um, every day at lunch, before school and after school, kids meet and, and just play games. It's time when they um, don't use their phones and don't use their computers, that they just sit and talk. And then lastly, just for students, uh, when and where is the club available? Uh, right now, the club is meeting Wednesdays after school, but that seems to be a really tough time for kids to get together. So I've noticed kids kind of show up on Wednesdays during <coughs> sixth and seventh period in the library. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Seniors, your spirit pack's gonna be coming to you on sale next week. It comes with a long sleeve shirt with our saying across, a visor, and a cinch backpack. And the shirt's gonna come in two colors, either white or dark gray. You can buy the senior packs for $25 if you don't have a senior privilege card, and it'll be $22 if you do have a senior privilege card. Separate shirts are sold $10 with an ASB card and $12 without one. Yeah, and keep your ears open for all the Powder Puff updates that are coming to you soon. Turkey grams are on sale starting Monday the 14th for $1 in the Student Center. We will be handing them out Friday during fifth period. Also next week we will be having thank you grams that you can go down to the Student Center and write on. We will hang them across the boards at school to show what you're thankful for. Freshmen, are you ready to seek out success? This week counselors will be leading ninth graders through career-based activities and assemblies. Turkey grams will be sold all week. And SOS Freshman Parent Night will be held on Tuesday, November 15th in the Quiet Study Area. To wrap up this week, Link Crew is hosting a pumpkin pie party with special guest speaker and former Charger Terrell Fletcher. Valhalla senior Kevin Myron has been selected as El Cajon Elks Lodge 1812 Teenager of the Month for December 2016. Kevin will be recognized at dinner and will receive a $400 reward. Two other senior nurseman were honored this year. Zion White and Gage Billette were pre previously celebrated as October's Elks Teen of the Month for their leadership roles as well as school service. Valhalla Theater presents Julius Caesar. December 8th through 17th, tickets will be on sale for $8 for students and $10 for adults. For more information, go to ValhallaTheater.com. Come out and support your Valhalla announcement as the fall sports season comes to a close.